Oh, hey, Anthony from Hassler's Night here, and I wanted to talk to you about primes. Okay, like, not prime numbers, you know, Transformers, Optimus and Rodimus. Now, weirdly, Rodimus doesn't have a Cybertronian form, or is his hot rod to say Cybertronian form? If you remember from the 1986 movie, um, Hot Rod is introduced as already a Hot Rod. But uh, in the Cybertron games, they introduce a Cybertronian form for Optimus. Uh, and here it is. Um, nice sleek lines. It looks futuristic. It's, it's basically a tank with, uh, I guess, exhaust pipes uh, because Cybertron uses fossil fuels, I guess. I don't... Uh, I, mean, I mean, this guy looks okay. He looks pretty cool. Uh, but... Uh, He's he's chunky, as the kids say. He's he's a, he's a little fat guy. I mean, first of all, this is a deluxe size figure from from the Cybertron or technically Generation series. But I mean, he is he. I mean, oh, just to transform him is a pain in the butt because every piece has to be in the right place, and especially these exhaust pipes are just in the way. But uh, I, see, whenever I get to transforming him, I don't really know what to do. I mean, I start. Like, okay, let's separate these panels, and then maybe we'll get lucky, but it is difficult. Once it's transformed, it is a pain in the butt. And this is why <laughs> this is probably why Rodimus doesn't have a Cybertronian form, um, because it is so hard to come up with something that looks futuristic when you're already a futuristic-looking hot rod. Again, it takes place in 2005, and as we know, uh, 2005 is the pinnacle of the future. Because, um, you know, it's the way things are, I guess. I don't know. Like... I Here's another thing I, I, like, I, his legs are snapped together, and it's a pain in the butt to separate. Oh, and uh, I feel like I'm going to break it when I, I try too hard. Oh, finally. Well, be, I mean, because another thing is, like, he, he pulls out, his legs kind of, like, compact in, and that's, that's something. But then you have to, like, flip his tires over, and uh, I feel like I'm holding a baby upside down. And then once you do that, you can lock his stacks into place. Because you see the purpose, right? The purpose is, this is Cybertron and Optimus Prime, something we've never seen in the cartoon, only in the video game, and he has to look like he is not natively a semi-truck. And despite that fact, they have to, you know, create all the pieces, so it, I guess, makes sense to somebody. But, uh, I mean, it really, it doesn't. But anyway... So then his hands are, of course, tucked in the back, and it, it's, it's a familiar thing in some trans, uh, from Optimus transformations. Uh, but uh, the plus side is he's all one piece, which I think is great. And, of course, his head just flops back and forward here. And um, the one thing that really gets me, though, is once I move the wheels out of the way uh, and separate everything out, I actually have to flip his lower torso around. And then I have to take this piece here and spin it around. Like, it, it it does this thing. But I feel like I have moved everything the wrong way. It is a pain in the butt. Oh, there we go. Finally got it right. But then once you have that, you have, you have this elongated spine thing going on. And got to collapse that in. And... Um, then you can adjust his arms, which are just weird. And then, of course, you snap his belt down and you fold back these two pieces here. And um, again, Futuristic Semi Truck, super, super weird transformation. And then you have like these fenders or pieces or whatever just kind of hanging out. I have no idea what to do with them. I mean, they kind of just stick out. And, um, and the only reason why I'm talking about this figure is because. Um, I think it looks cool, but I also hate it. I, I, I don't... I, I mean, look, look at this. He got, he got a big old chest plate. Uh, he has uh, these wheels just sticking out in the back. I mean, the, the wheel, the legs actually look fine. I, I, I'm okay with the legs. But the rest of it is just... Like, why? Like, did he need a Cybertronian form? I mean, did the video game really need not to use the semi-truck? I mean, at least Devastation did it right. But, um... I mean, look, look at his face. Like... It barely is Optimus Prime, and uh, I, 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 
whatever. Moving on, back to the actual purpose here. So I figured we'll go through the G1 and the newer uh, Transformers here. Now, uh, so the, the, I want to say true Orion packs uh, look more like Cup, I guess. Um, because if you remember the cartoon, Dion had like a bet in his, uh, they said to her in Time's Return to make Prime or Orion Pax the headmaster. So here we have basically Cup, and uh, he looks pretty cool. I think he does. Uh, little, little, his head is, is this little guy here, and um, the face, uh, pretty much keeping in the usual. Well, here's his, what his face looks like. Uh, yeah, take my word for it. It has. You know, none, none of the face mask bits, whatever. Okay, so so then you you basically take the sides off, or you pop the back first. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, the sides just come off because they're basically just the legs. They're already the legs, and um, the the front piece goes in, and then you fold the bottom in to create his bits because. It folds like this. You basically just shove the front end in there, and voila. And, and you see his arms. Uh, as I said, usual thing, his arms usually fold up somewhere. But let's fix his legs first, because this is actually bothering me. Um, so, I pull these pieces out, and you can tell where the feet are. So, the, the feet end up just there, in the middle of these legs. But again, if you have cup from time, or Combine Awards or Times Return, wherever it is, uh, then you know basically how it works here. You form the feet, and then you connect everything together on the leg, and then you close the top piece, and uh, uh, Bob's your uncle, uh, assuming I can figure out where Bob is. Oh, there we go. It, it, and I, I don't like it, uh, but I think, again, I like Cup as a character. Maybe that, that has tainted me, because I think his design is eh, but uh, it's also you know one of the few Cup characters out there. And I collected a heck of a lot of, there we go, snap, snap. A lot of uh, Prime War stuff. And then, of course, you pull his arms out in the top, and they come to his sides, and then you unsnap them from each other, because, you know, things. Oh. And then you move his fists back into place, and uh, his arms come down to the sides. And, and then you take his little head guy, and... You toss it in, and voila, Orion packs. Now, I, I, I actually like this look. I like, I mean, I still know it, it's cup, but I, I like the look. But then we get to classic G1, where we get the, the usual, the author's pride. This guy is actually made out of some metal. <laughs> His hands are in here, which will pull out. Uh, he's not a difficult transformation. Uh, as you can tell, this is an original one. Technically, it's a G2 one uh, because of the longer smokestacks. Uh, he has the easiest transformation in the world. Literally, I'm already halfway done. And then you pull his arms out. Pull everything forward. You hear that ratchet. Flip his head up and then his fists. And voila, Optimus Prime. Uh, as good as he was the day I got him when I was like 10, I guess. I, I don't know. Whatever year. So, I mean, no Matrix storage because Matrix wasn't a thing when these first came out. But, I mean, he's straightforward. This is Optimus Prime. This is the way you know him. And while recently I've released three or four different versions of Optimus Prime, uh, this one is the one that most people recognize as Optimus Prime. But then they said, they're still doing Prime Wars. We go back to Prime Wars. Well, why don't we have an evil Optimus Prime? Because Nemesis Prime has been a thing for a while. And uh, because this guy's actually Optimus, we start with this. Uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, it, it is a semi truck, although with a lot of extra baggage in the back. Uh, but I mean, he's still basically Optimus Prime, but evil. So you basically. Well, actually, I should say, you pull up the sides first, uh, and then you pop them off here. Well, here, let's do the legs first. 
because the the weird thing is in the other Optimus Prime, uh, the front is the front, but in this one the back is the front. If that makes any sense to you, um, because you can already see like here is his front, and again this is this is Orion Pax we're playing with, so you know. There we go. So moving into place. There we go. There we go. So and then we end up with just this whole bunch of window, um, which makes them backwards heavy. Uh, they give them a, a, a smidge of feet bits to try to keep them to stand up, and and sometimes you can. Um, most of the time, it's it's a balancing act. Got to have to look like he has a bad back and leans him forward. But as we continue, we move his arms to the side, pull his hands out, lock the shoulder blades in place, and then flip his hands out. Then once you're done doing that, and you rotate everything, so his, you know, the back points that are just really not visible are there, you, you finally get him with just this huge, huge back that is, again, just a lot. But I, I like his face. It's his red eyes. It has the, the mouth. Well, actually, this one has a face mask. Um, but I would have preferred a mouth bit. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. But it's, it's also probably one of the best looking Nemesis Primes I've ever seen. So then we uh, go, okay, we want the, well, technically, I guess this is technically Nemesis Packs. So uh, Nemesis Prime is a whole nother bag of chips. I'm not going to do, you know, today because uh, first off, it, it is a leader class toy, I believe. And um, Nemesis Prime, because what you do is, and I'll show you uh, if I can uh, remember how to do it, is, oh, here it is. You basically flip it around. There's his face. Uh, it is, you expect it to look like, more like Optimus' face, but they kind of close, he looks more like Batman. I, that's just me, though, um, with the big old thing in the front of his head. But uh, you, you basically make this the front, it goes into a compartment, and um, Nemesis Prime is your uncle. Um, I, whatever. Uh, I think it's cool, but uh, it is a lot of effort because you take the trailer, which uh, also this is a lot of black. I'm just going to point that out. And, and the uh, Unicronus, Rodimus Unicronus is the same situation. A lot of black. And this isn't empty in any way. This is all parts. This is his waist, feet. Uh, the arms are right here. It, it is a lot of black, but I, I, I like the concept of, because he's evil, he's bigger, and show you one more thing that I, I just thought of, if I can find it. In the original cab here is the evil Matrix. So I'm like, well, you know what? That, I'm sold. Evil Matrix. Gotcha. So then we go, okay, so Optimus is done. Now we go to, again, uh, Titan's Return, and uh, he's a sleek, fast speed, a sports car. Uh, he also is, of course, a headmaster. Let's pull his guy out. There we go. And, and of course, you can see his face close up. It, it, it's, it's Hot Rod's face, so no argument there. Uh, but he transforms pretty much like most other... Uh, Rodimus's or Hot Rogers to say, and I meant to say Rodimus's face. Anyway, you get you have to pull the arms apart and off the shoulders, and make sure you don't break the piping. And then, of course, the front piece folds down, and then his legs are just a matter of unfolding, and then disconnecting, and uh, flipping them around, which uh, which I will eventually do. Here we go. So then you have this big old back piece here. I like the fact that it basically just folds up and then you, you rotate it around and bloop, clicks right on the, the top here. And I'll, I'll reveal him in a moment as soon as I find his head bit. lower his arms down, and, and then here we go, a pretty sleek hot rod. 
And uh, I enjoy the one, this, this look one, um, because, because you can get the G1, G2 hot rod, because they obviously we recently did reissues. And uh, he's, he's the non-flexible classic hot rod. And uh, I wanted one with a little bit more personality. The Headmaster thing is a, I like the Headmaster gimmick. I like the Powermaster gimmick. But then, talking about such a thing, here is a G1 hot rod, or Aronimus, I should say. And um, his little fin comes down, or off, I should say, for the transformation. But you know what, let me, so, yes, there is a back that goes here. But you don't need the back to still be a vehicle because he still rides on his wheels. He has wheels in the legs here, whatever. I think they should have done something a little different with it, so it's so blatantly at legs. But I, I guess it to be driven without his, uh, his trailer. But uh, this one, you, you pull him up, and uh, it, it's fairly simple. You separate the arms out, and you flip the chest. And then once you've done that, you push it back down. Then you take the fin here, after you put the head up, and voila, Rodham is prime. And, and again, um, you know, actually, second thought, uh, like I said with uh, Hot Rod, he is fairly inflexible. Uh, it's funny, though, because uh, Optimus has a lot more flexibility than this guy does. Opt Optimus at least has joints in his arms and in his legs. Uh, this one is each. And again, uh, different toy lines, so what, what, it's not really necessary, I guess. I'd, but, I mean, it's it's classic Rodimus. And, of course, his back, his uh, RV, his, his trailer, whatever has um, a gun in it. And, and, and of course, Optimus has had a uh, roller and the little uh, army thing and, and had a whole thing going on. Uh, I believe, and I, I don't quote me on this, I believe the reason why they come to, they, they kind of dumbed down Rodimus was to be a cheaper alternative for a leader than Optimus was. Optimus was, um, I think we got it for 50 or 60, and this is 1986 or whatever. And I guess Rodimus was um, a half to uh, two-thirds the price. So I guess if you, if you wanted a cheaper leader and this is the way to go. But again, like with Optimus, they of course create a Rodimus Unicronus. This is the evil version of Rodimus. And I'm, I'm not going to transform into Rodimus Unicronus, but I'm going to show you his... Let me take off the parts here. His, uh, first off, his, uh, his vehicle, once you fill out the, uh, the gap here when you pull him off the trailer, uh, frankly, it looks cool. I, I really like the look. It's purple and black. Uh, I believe this is called, uh, Nemesis Hot Rod because Rodimus Unicronus is the, the big figure in which he combines into. Um, not, nothing in here. It looks good, but there is nothing in here. Uh, so there's not like a headmaster situation going on, uh, but I mean, a as as a concept, he is freaking sweet. Just just like, well, I, I should say, actually more than more than the Orion Pax figure. Uh, Orion Pax is just a lot sitting in the back of the truck. So anyway, to transform him, you just fold back up the the arm bits here, and uh, you can already see the body. It's it's there. It's obvious, uh, but you do have to pull the legs out. And um, they're a pain in the butt because they are resting on a clip. Ugh. Like, oh, how do I get it? You know what? I'm going to pass on that and try to do the head. Okay, there you go. So the head bit is you push down. And as you see, uh, which is funny, if you can see in there, there is Un Erotimus Unicronus' face. But on a swivel here is... Nemesis Hot Rod, which uh, I do enjoy his face. He's a good face. Um, <laughs> now, if I can get the back off, that would be great. Because you, you, you have to... Oh, there you go. You have to... there, You have to <laughs> twist it a little bit to get it to work. Um, but once you do, it, it's good to go. And then... Um, of course, you already see where we're going. And then the last thing you do is you pull... The front piece over the feet to get the leg out, or technically the foot out. 
and now you have now it says Hot Rod, and uh, he is uh, because he's also part of the Prime Wars trilogy. He's Power of the Primes. The other ones were uh, Combiner Wars, I guess. Uh, he looks good. He's actually just as flexible as Hot Rod is. Got some knee bending. Got the feet thing. I mean, let's let's go back. Um, in Hot Rod, you know, there's a clear size difference. You can tell there is a change when he becomes uh, evil. And uh, he also has somewhere uh, an evil matrix. I think it's in the trailer, which I'll show you. So back to the trailer. Um, his arms are here. His legs are here. Um, I think that like in front of a torso somewhere is the matrix if it's, if it's not in the other guy. Um, just like with Optimus or Nemesis Prime, it is a lot of stuff just built into here. There is no base in here, but I, it looks cool. So that those these were the the basic evolutionary steps of Optimus and Rodimus. This guy is an outlier. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net.